Hawaiian language, Wikipedia audio. The Hawaiian language is a Polynesian language that takes its name from Hawaii, the largest island in the tropical North Pacific archipelago where it developed. Hawaiian, along with English, is an official language of the state of Hawaii. King Kamehameha III established the first Hawaiian language constitution in 1839 and 1840. For various reasons, including territorial legislation establishing English as the official language in schools, the number of native speakers of Hawaiian gradually decreased during the period from the 1830s to the 1950s. Hawaiian was essentially displaced by English on six of seven inhabited islands. In 2001, native speakers of Hawaiian amounted to under 0.1% of the statewide population. Linguists were unsure that Hawaiian and other endangered languages would survive. Nevertheless, from around 1949 to the present day, there has been a gradual increase in attention to and promotion of the language. Public Hawaiian language immersion preschools called Nanaleo were started in 1984, other immersion schools followed soon after that. The first students to start in immersion preschool have now graduated from college and many are fluent Hawaiian speakers. The federal government has acknowledged this development. For example, the Hawaiian National Park Language Correction Act of 2000 changed the names of several national parks in Hawaii, observing the Hawaiian spelling. However, the language is still classified as critically endangered by UNESCO. Name A pidgin or creole language spoken in Hawaii is Hawaiian pidgin. It should not be mistaken for the Hawaiian language nor for a dialect of English. The Hawaiian alphabet has 13 letters, 5 vowels and 8 consonants, one of which is the glottal stop called Okina. Interchangeable B slash P B was dropped, P was kept, interchangeable L slash R R and D were dropped, L was kept interchangeable k slash t t was dropped k was kept interchangeable v slash w v was dropped w was kept the hawaiian language takes its name from the largest island hawaii the island name was first written in english in 1778 by british explorer james cook and his crew members they wrote it as Ohihi or Ohai. Explorers Mortimer and Otto von Kotzebue used that spelling. The initial O in the name is a reflection of the fact that unique identity is predicated in Hawaiian by using a copula form, O, immediately before a proper noun. Thus, in Hawaiian, the name of the island is expressed by saying O Hawaii, which means is Hawaii. The Cook expedition also wrote Otahit rather than Tahiti. The spelling Y in the name reflects the pronunciation of WH in 18th century English. Y was pronounced. The spelling he or ee in the name represents the sounds, or. Putting the parts together, OYEE reflects a reasonable approximation of the native pronunciation. American missionaries bound for Hawaii used the phrases Ohihi language and Ohihi language in Boston prior to their departure in October 1819 and during their five-month voyage to Hawaii. They still used such phrases as late as March 1822. However, by July 1823, they had begun using the phrase Hawaiian language. Turned comma Unicode hex value 02 BB. This does not always have the correct appearance because it is not supported in some fonts. Opening single quote, aka left single quotation mark, Unicode hex value 2018. 
In many fonts this character looks like either a left-leaning single quotation mark or a quotation mark thicker at the bottom than at the top. In more traditional serif fonts such as Times New Roman it can look like a very small six with the circle filled in black. In Hawaiian, Lilo Hawaii means Hawaiian language, as adjectives follow nouns. Hawaiian is a Polynesian member of the Austronesian language family. It is closely related to other Polynesian languages, such as Marquesan, Tahitian, Mori, Rapa Nui, and less closely to Samoan and Tongan. The ASCII apostrophe, Unicode hex value 27, following the missionary tradition, the ASCII grave accent, Unicode hex value 60, the right single quotation mark, or curly apostrophe, Unicode hex value 2019. Family and origin According to Schutz, the Marxans colonized the archipelago in roughly 300 CE followed by later waves of immigration from the Society Islands and Samoa, Tonga. Their languages, over time, became the Hawaiian language within the Hawaiian Islands. Kimura and Wilson also state, Linguists agree that Hawaiian is closely related to Eastern Polynesian, with a particularly strong link in the Southern Marquesas, and a secondary link in Tahiti, which may be explained by voyaging between the Hawaiian and Society Islands. The genetic history of the Hawaiian language is demonstrated primarily through the application of lexicostatistics, which involves quantitative comparison of lexical cognates, and the comparative method. Both the number of cognates and the phonological similarity of cognates are measures of language relationship. The following table provides a limited lexicostatistical data set for 10 numbers. The asterisk is used to show that these are hypothetical, reconstructed forms. In the table, the year date of the modern forms is rounded off to 2000 CE to emphasize the 6000 year time lapse since the Pan era. Note, for the number 10, the Tongan form in the table is part of the word slash hafula slash. The Hawaiian cognate is part of the word slash anahulu slash, however, the more common word for ten used in counting and quantifying is slash ami slash, a different root. Application of the lexicostatistical method to the data in the table will show the four languages to be related to one another, with Tagalog having 100% Konyaki with Pan, while Hawaiian and Tongan have 100% Konyaki with each other, but 90% with Tagalog and Pan. This is because the forms for each number are cognates, except the Hawaiian and Tongan words for the number 1, which are cognate with each other, but not with Tagalog and Pan. When the full set of 200 meanings is used, the percentages will be much lower. For example, Albert found Hawaiian and Tongan to have 49% shared konyaki. This points out the importance of dataset size for this method, where less data leads to cruder results, while more data leads to better results. Application of the comparative method will show partly different genetic relationships. It will point out sound changes, such as Methods of proving Hawaiian's linguistic relationships History This method will recognize sound change number one as a shared innovation of Hawaiian and Tongan. It will also take the Hawaiian and Tongan cognates for one as another shared innovation. Due to these exclusively shared features, Hawaiian and Tongan are found to be more closely related to one another than either is to Tagalog or Pan. UA verb perfective, E verb ana imperfective, K verb nei present progressive, E verb imperative, My verb negative imperative, I verb purposive, K verb infinitive. 
first European contact. Folk tales. Written Hawaiian. Suppression of Hawaiian. 1949 to present. The forms in the table show that the Austronesian vowels tend to be relatively stable, while the consonants are relatively volatile. It is also apparent that the Hawaiian words for 3, 5, and 8 have remained essentially unchanged for 6,000 years. Kahonu, Na with Makron Honu, Kahale, K Kanaka. In 1778, British explorer James Cook made Europe's initial, recorded first contact with Hawaii, beginning a new phase in the development of Hawaiian. During the next 40 years, the sounds of Spanish, Russian, French, and German arrived in Hawaii via other explorers and businessmen. Hawaiian began to be written for the first time, largely restricted to isolated names and words, and word lists collected by explorers and travelers. Kekahi Pipi, Kekahi Mau Pipi the early explorers and merchants who first brought European languages to the Hawaiian Islands also took on a few native crew members who brought the Hawaiian language into new territory. Hawaiians took these nautical jobs because their traditional way of life changed due to plantations, and although there were not enough of these Hawaiian-speaking explorers to establish any viable speech communities abroad, they still had a noticeable presence. One of them, a boy in his teens known as Abukia, had a major impact on the future of the language. He sailed to New England, where he eventually became a student at the Foreign Mission School in Cornwall, Connecticut. He inspired New Englanders to support a Christian mission to Hawaii, and provided information on the Hawaiian language to the American missionaries there prior to their departure for Hawaii in 1819. Niaho Like all natural spoken languages, the Hawaiian language was originally just an oral language. The native people of the Hawaiian language relayed religion, traditions, history, and views of their world through stories that were handed down from generation to generation. One form of storytelling most commonly associated with the Hawaiian Islands is hula. Nathaniel B. Emerson notes that it kept the communal imagination in living touch with the nation's legendary past. The Icelanders' connection with their stories is argued to be one reason why Captain James Cook received a pleasant welcome. Marshall Solins has observed that Hawaiian folktales began bearing similar content to those of the Western world in the 18th century. He argues this was caused by the timing of Captain Cook's arrival, which was coincidentally when the indigenous Hawaiians were celebrating the Makahiki Festival. The Icelanders' story foretold of the god Lono's return at the time of the Makahiki festival. In 1820, Protestant missionaries from New England arrived in Hawaii. Adalbert von Chimiso might have consulted with a native speaker of Hawaiian in Berlin, Germany, before publishing his Grammar of Hawaiian in 1837. When Hawaiian King David Kakala took a trip around the world, he brought his native language with him. When his wife, Queen Kapi Olani, and his sister, Princess Lily Uakalani, took a trip across North America and on to the British Islands, in 1887, Lily Uakalani's composition Aloha Oe was already a famous song in the U.S. In 1834, the first Hawaiian language newspapers were published by missionaries working with locals. The missionaries also played a significant role in publishing a vocabulary grammar and dictionary of Hawaiian. Literacy in Hawaiian was widespread among the local population, especially ethnic Hawaiians. 
use of the language among the general population might have peaked around 1881. Even so, some people worried, as early as 1854, that the language was soon destined to extinction. The decline of the Hawaiian language dates back to a coup that overthrew the Hawaiian monarchy and dethroned the existing Hawaiian queen. Thereafter, a law was instituted that banned the Hawaiian language from being taught. The law cited as banning the Hawaiian language is identified as Act 57, Sector 30 of the 1896 Laws of the Republic of Hawaii. The English language shall be the medium and basis of instruction in all public and private schools, provided that where it is desired that another language shall be taught in addition to the English language, such instruction may be authorized by the department, either by its rules, the curriculum of the school, or by direct order in any particular instance. Any schools that shall not conform to the provisions of this section shall not be recognized by the department. Orthography this law established English as the medium of instruction for the government-recognized schools both public and private. While it did not ban or make illegal the Hawaiian language in other contexts, its implementation in the schools had far-reaching effects. The banishment was only two years removed from acknowledgement as a legitimate sovereign government. From July 1894 to January 1895, 19 nations, including the United States, recognized Hawaii as an independent country. Those who had been pushing for English-only schools took this law as license to extinguish the native language at the early education level. While the law stopped short of making Hawaiian illegal, many children who spoke Hawaiian at school, including on the playground, were disciplined. This included corporal punishment and going to the home of the offending child to strongly advise them to stop speaking it in their home. Moreover, the law specifically provided for teaching languages in addition to the English language, reducing Hawaiian to the status of a foreign language, subject to approval by the department. Hawaiian was not taught initially in any school including the all-Hawaiian Kamehameha schools. This is largely because when these schools were founded, like Kamehameha schools founded in 1887, Hawaiian was being spoken in the home. Once this law was enacted, individuals at these institutions took it upon themselves to enforce a ban on Hawaiian. Beginning in 1900, Mary Kawena Pukui, who was later the CO author of the Hawaiian English Dictionary, was punished for speaking Hawaiian by being wrapped on the forehead, allowed to eat only bread and water for lunch, and denied home visits on holidays. Winona Beamer was expelled from Kamehameha schools in 1937 for chanting Hawaiian. In 1949, the legislature of the Territory of Hawaii commissioned Mary Pukui and Samuel Elbert to write a new dictionary of Hawaiian, either revising the Andrews Parker work or starting from scratch. Pukui and Elbert took a middle course, using what they could from the Andrews Dictionary, but making certain improvements and additions that were more significant than a minor revision. The dictionary they produced in 1957, introduced an era of gradual increase in attention to the language and culture. Origin Efforts to promote the language have increased in recent decades. Hawaiian language immersion schools are now open to children whose families want to reintroduce Hawaiian language for future generations. The Ahananaleo S. Hawaiian Language Preschools in Hilo, Hawaii, have received international recognition. The local national public radio station features a short segment titled Hawaiian Word of the Day and a Hawaiian language news broadcast. 
Honolulu television station KGMB ran a weekly Hawaiian language program, Ha'ililo Ola, as recently as 2010. Additionally, the Sunday editions of the Honolulu Star Advertiser, the largest newspaper in Hawaii, feature a brief article called Kawakukula Hale written entirely in Hawaiian by teachers, students, and community members. Today, the number of native speakers of Hawaiian, which was under 0.1% of the statewide population in 1997, has risen to 2,000, out of 24,000 total who are fluent in the language according to the U.S. 2011 census. On six of the seven permanently inhabited islands, Hawaiian has been largely displaced by English, but on Niho, native speakers of Hawaiian have remained fairly isolated and have continued to use Hawaiian almost exclusively. Glottal Stop History 2 Electronic Encoding the isolated island of Niaho, located off the southwest coast of Kauai, is the one island where Hawaiian is still spoken as the language of daily life. Albert and Pukui states that aerations in Hawaiian dialects have not been systematically studied, and that he dialect of Niaho is the most aberrant and the one most in need of study. They recognized that Niahoans can speak Hawaiian in substantially different ways. Their statements are based in part on some specific observations made by Nubrand. Hawaiians had no written language prior to Western contact, except for petroglyph symbols. The modern Hawaiian alphabet, Ka Pa with Makron Pa with Makron Hawaii, is based on the Latin script. Hawaiian words end only in vowels, and every consonant must be followed by a vowel. The Hawaiian alphabetical order has all of the vowels before the consonants, as in the following chart. This writing system was developed by American Protestant missionaries during 1820-1826. It was the first thing they ever printed in Hawaii, on January 7, 1822 and it originally included the consonants B, D, R, T, and V, in addition to the current ones, and it had F, G, S, Y, and Z for spelling foreign words. The initial printing also showed the five vowel letters and seven of the short diphthongs. In 1826, the developers voted to eliminate some of the letters which represented functionally redundant allophones, enabling the Hawaiian alphabet to approach the ideal state of one symbol one phoneme, and thereby optimizing the ease with which people could teach and learn the reading and writing of Hawaiian. For example, instead of spelling one and the same word as pule, buell, pure, and bure, the word is spelled only as pule. However, hundreds of words were very rapidly borrowed into Hawaiian from English, Greek, Hebrew, Latin, and Syriac. Although these loan words were necessarily Hawaiianized, they often retained some of their non-Hawaiian letters in their published forms. For example, Brazil fully Hawaiianized is Palakila, but retaining foreign letters it is Barazila. Another example is Gibraltar, written as Kipalilika or Gibralita. While N are not regarded as Hawaiian sounds and were represented in the original alphabet, so the letters for the latter are not truly non-Hawaiian or foreign, even though their post-1826 use in published matter generally marked words of foreign origin. Okina is the modern Hawaiian name for the symbol that represents the glottal stop. It was formerly known as Uina. For examples of the Okina, consider the Hawaiian words Hawaii and Oahu. In Hawaiian, these words can be pronounced and, and can be written with an Okina where the glottal stop is pronounced. Albert and Pukui's Hawaiian grammar says the glottal stop 
is made by closing the glottis or space between the vocal cords, the result being something like the hiatus in English O. -O. As early as 1823, the missionaries made some limited use of the apostrophe to represent the glottal stop, but they did not make it a letter of the alphabet. In publishing the Hawaiian Bible, they used it to distinguish KOU from KAU. In 1864, William DeWitt Alexander published a grammar of Hawaiian in which he made it clear that the glottal stop is definitely a true consonant of the Hawaiian language. He wrote it using an apostrophe. In 1922, the Andrews Parker Dictionary of Hawaiian made limited use of the opening single quote symbol, called reversed apostrophe or inverse comma, to represent the glottal stop. Subsequent dictionaries have preferred to use that symbol. Today, many native speakers of Hawaiian do not bother, in general, to write any symbol for the glottal stop. Its use is advocated mainly among students and teachers of Hawaiian as a second language, and among linguists. The okina is written in various ways for electronic uses. Because many people who want to write the okina are not familiar with these specific characters and slash or do not have access to the appropriate fonts and input and display systems, it is sometimes written with more familiar and readily available characters. A modern Hawaiian name for the Macron symbol is Kahak. It was formerly known as Mikona. It can be written as a diacritical mark which looks like a hyphen or dash written above a vowel, i.e., A with Macron and A with Macron. It is used to show that the marked vowel is A double, or geminate or long vowel, in phonological terms. As early as 1821, at least one of the missionaries, Hiram Bingham, was using macrons in making handwritten transcriptions of Hawaiian vowels. The missionaries specifically requested their sponsor in Boston to send them some type with accented vowel characters, including vowels with macrons but the sponsor made only one response and sent the wrong font size. Thus, they could not print A with Macron, nor, even though they wanted to. Due to extensive allophony, Hawaiian has more than 13 phones. Although vowel length is phonemic, long vowels are not always pronounced as such, even though under the rules for assigning stress in Hawaiian, a long vowel will always receive stress. Hawaiian is known for having very few consonant phonemes 8, slash p, k, t, h, m, n, l, w, v, slash. It is notable that Hawaiian has allophonic variation of with, with, and with. The variation is quite unusual among the world's languages and is likely a product both of the small number of consonants in Hawaiian, and the recent shift of historical asterisk T to modern, after historical asterisk K had shifted to. In some dialects, slash slash remains as in some words. These variations are largely free, though there are conditioning factors. Slash L slash tends to especially in words with both slash L slash N slash N slash, such as in the island name na I, though this is not always the case, E L E E L E or E N E E N E black. The allophone is almost universal at the beginnings of words, whereas is most common before the vowel slash I slash is also the norm after slash i slash n slash e slash, whereas is usual after slash u slash n slash o slash. After slash a slash n initially, however, and are in free variation. A consonant occurs only before a vowel, thus two consonants never occur in succession and a syllable always ends with a vowel. Hawaiian has five short and five long vowels, plus diphthongs. 
Hawaiian has five pure vowels. The short vowels are slash u, i, o, e, a slash, and the long vowels, if they are considered separate phonemes rather than simply sequences of like vowels, are slash u, i, o, e, a slash. When stressed, short slash e slash n slash a slash tend to become end, while when unstressed they are end. Slash e slash also tends to become next to slash l slash, slash n slash, and another, as in Pele. Some grammatical particles vary between short and long vowels. These include a and o of, ma it, na and no for. Between a back vowel slash o slash or slash u slash and a following non-back vowel, there is an epithetic, which is generally not written. Between a front vowel slash e slash or slash i slash and a following non-front vowel, there is an epithetic, which is never written. The short vowel diphthongs are slash i u, o u, oi, e u, e i, o. A I, A O, A E slash. In all except perhaps slash I U slash, these are falling diphthongs. However, they are not as tightly bound as the diphthongs of English, and may be considered vowel sequences. In fast speech, slash A I slash tends to and slash O slash tends to conflating these diphthongs with slash e i slash n slash o u slash. There are only a limited number of vowels which may follow long vowels, and some authors treat these sequences as diphthongs as well, slash o u, e i, a u, a i, a o, a e slash. Hawaiian syllable structure is v. All CV syllables occur except for W, WU occurs only in two words borrowed from English. As shown by Schutz, Hawaiian word stress is predictable in words of one to four syllables, but not in words of five or more syllables. Hawaiian phonological processes include palatalization and deletion of consonants, as well as raising, diphthongization, deletion, and compensatory lengthening of vowels. Phonological reduction of consonant phonemes during the historical development of the language has resulted in the phonemic glottal stop. Ultimate loss of intervocalic consonant phonemes has resulted in Hawaiian long vowels and diphthongs. Hawaiian is an analytic language with verb-subject-object word order. While there is no use of inflection for verbs, in Hawaiian, like other Austronesian personal pronouns, declension is found in the differentiation between A and O class genitive case personal pronouns in order to indicate inalienable possession in a binary possessive class system. Also like many Austronesian languages, Hawaiian pronouns employ separate words for inclusive and exclusive we and distinguish singular, dual, and plural. The grammatical function of verbs is marked by adjacent particles and by their relative positions, that indicate tense aspect mood. Some examples of verb phrase patterns. Nouns can be marked with articles. Ka and K are singular definite articles. K is used before words beginning with A, E. O and K, and with some words beginning, and P. Ka is used in all other cases. NA with macron is the plural definite article. To show part of a group, the word K kahi is used. To show a bigger part, Mao is inserted to pluralize the subject. Examples Macron Pronunciation Phonology Consonants Vowels Monophthongs Diphthongs Phonotactics Grammar Notes